Welcome and thank you for taking the time to watch this training video on the patient documents section of the MTBC EHR. Patient documents consist of any scanned image that's uploaded into the EHR. Documents can be scanned and attached from any computer on the network. You can scan directly into the EHR or you can upload documents that have already been scanned. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. The home screen contains a patient documents widget that shows you the number of documents that are pending or in an open status that are assigned to the user that's logged in. Clicking on the patient documents widget opens up the patient documents section. Here we can see the list of documents that are currently in progress and assigned to the user that's logged in. Notes from other users appear on the documents. We can also see the full image of the document and zoom in on the required items. The patient document section is divided into two parts. The left hand side which includes the list of documents that are currently opened and in progress and the right hand side that includes the image. You have controls at the top of the window that allow you to add new documents, edit existing documents, delete or sign documents, depending on your user rights, you may or may not be able to complete these functions. There's a great document search, a patient search, and a patient information button. On the top left hand corner of the screen, we can see the patient information against the selected document. Here, this first lab result is for James Demo. There's a document type that tells me this is a lab result. And I have a series of columns that show me information about this document. As a user, you can always choose which columns are visible to you up front by using the Format Grid button. Certain documents that get attached may have multiple pages. Flip through those pages by using the Next Image button on the Document Viewer pane. You have a series of controls on the right hand side of the screen in the Document Viewer pane that allow you to print, fax, zoom in and zoom out, as well as expand the image into different methods. You can rotate images and see all of the documents in a thumbnail view. Click the original size button to return back to the original size of the document. You can also expand this window left or right to see more or less of the document depending on your needs. There are a few shortcuts on this page that let you get into the patient details very quickly. If you click on the patient's account number, it'll take you directly to the patient demographics. You can return back to the screen that you're on by clicking the main documents button at the top of the screen. To get into the past charts for a patient, click on the chart ID. This will take you into the chart summary and patient feed for the selected patient. Again, go back to the documents section by clicking on the main documents button. When you have a document selected, you can edit that document to change the status of the document, forward it to another user, update comments on the document, or remove your name from the assigned to category. Do you have any questions about the training video that you just watched? Give our technical support a call. The call is free, and technical support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you.